Hello everyone, this is Spencer Collector here with another action figure uh, review. And here we have, we have the Marvel Legends Firestar uh, figure. Uh, I've been waiting for this one. I pre-ordered it right away when it was announced. I remember seeing her in uh, Spider-Man and his amazing friends. I loved that show when I was very little, uh, so I couldn't wait for it. And they also have that little laboratory area for the backdrop there i'll pull it out and show you guys uh once i open it but here you get that firestar logo there you get the firestar logo on top too the marvel legends logo on the top you get a picture of firestar here you get a picture of firestar in the back if you guys want to pause and read that you can it has that nice uh like 60s 70s look to it uh, from the Spider-Man and his music friends. And here's the bottom with the DCBI. But besides that, let's crack her open. And here she is out of package here. So first let's go over the accessories. So we got an extra headpiece here of her hair just laying over her shoulders or would be over her shoulders. And you get this nice looking mask here. Uh, the difference between this head sculpt uh, they can see very uh, clearly in this one is that their lips on this one is red wearing red lipstick and this one is just regular pink lips um i really like the hair detailing on this figure a lot you get some like very bright red strays in there you get the dark red in there it's really cool um but yeah really cool looking head sculpt here and you get these two flame effects here that just go around her wrists uh very transparent plastic uh, very soft very like way softer than the other ones I think um, And you get some like little light orange in the bottom here and then it gets darker near this end So yeah, nice two of those you get two red fist hands here So there's those and you get two of these open white hands Which we've also seen from like Jean Grey and a few other figures um, Rogue and yeah, and then the other cool one we get here is I forgot the name of this uh, of her dog um, from the series, but I really like the look of it. You get yeah, I remember the dog having like the little bows on the ears here. They did a really good do uh, job on the dog here though. You get that tail. You get some black uh, like gray wash over the fur to give it more texture. You get the really nice detailing on the face too. It looks like the actual dog from the show. And what's really cool about this one, you can move the head, and it also has, you can get it to go up and down, so you get it to look up that far, look down that far, she can look left and right, you can get her all the way around, actually. She can move her head really far, so they did a good job on this one, here. But besides that, that's all we got for accessories. So here's Firestar, so this one, uh, this head sculpt, you got the hair flying all over the place, I like the mask for her. Um, here there's two different masks I think so so yeah this one doesn't have the point like this is like the classic look and this one I think is the normal one uh, where the this there's like a point here on um, the, the piece here like you can see the difference here this one kind of looks like it has a feather uh, detail to it whereas this one's more of like, like a uh, I forgot what that character was that was also in the movie. I mean, the show, but um, it kind of gives it... It's it's more like a butterfly look, whereas this one just has feathers on it. And this one, I think, has a more of a hot red to it, whereas this one has a little bit of a lighter red, I think. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, two different masks. Um, I think the skin tone is a little different for both of them, too, actually. This one's a little more tan. This one's a little bit more pale. Uh, maybe I'll switch them out and see how the neck looks with this one. I think this one has a little bit of a more tan to it. But yeah. Um, but this one has the difference in hair. Um, not the strays, but it fades more. So it has the lighter red going to dark towards the ends here. And it gets dark in the back. Same deal on the other side here. Has some dark near the, near the head here. But yeah. Uh, really cool job there and you get the cool little collar for her mainly yellow suit so nothing real special about it but what's cool about it is that it also has like the fire effects towards the sleeves or gloves it has the orange part and then it gets red towards the hands same deal here and then it goes it does the same thing for the legs get a little bit of orange splotch there uh, not that big of a deal though but and then here's the other leg 
here's the bottom I got some charcoal on it uh, I use this table for my drawing class so there's gonna be some charcoal on it and it, sadly it's just charcoal class mainly but yeah they did a good job on the look of it very accurate let's see what she looks like with that head sculpt real quick I don't think you could tell the difference between this the skin tone if I can get the damn head in there there we go yeah so you can't you can barely tell the difference between the neck and the face here uh, on camera I don't think I, I can't tell the difference in person either but the only uh, problem with this one is kind of hard to move the head side to side because the collar gets in the way the hair gets in the way of it so yeah oh god there we go much better so I think this one would be a lot better for maneuvering the head obviously so let's go over the articulation here so her head can hinge down that far up that far uh, she can go left and right uh, some head pivoting there her shoulders can move out that far 360 rotation around there um, her uh, uh, she has single jointed elbows you can rotate those here um, her wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation around there she's got a diaphragm joint here so she can go forward not a whole lot backwards a lot though she can go side to side she can do a 360 rotation around there oh one other thing she has a peg hole in the back so i don't know what that's for uh her legs could kick out just that far forward quite a bit backwards a little bit uh she's got a thigh cut here double jointed knees she can almost do a butt kick um her ankles get hinged down that far up that far and nice ankle pivot and yeah that's firestar so really cool figure i wish you can bend forward a little bit more um i think that the leg sculpt is a little different if i didn't i don't think i mentioned that earlier but i like the head sculpts it comes with a good amount of uh accessories i like the poodle figure a lot so definitely displaying her with it i wish i had a i'm gonna probably end up getting the um Iceman figure at some point, just do some pictures with uh, the vintage or retro Spider-Man with Firestar and then Iceman too. I know he's somewhere in Best Buy for like, they're, he's like in discounts or clearance right now. So I'm, I'm gonna probably pick him up at some point. Um, and I'll probably, oh yeah, one other detail that I forgot to mention. So yeah, this is the part that I forgot to show you guys. So yeah, this is the little backdrop that I was talking about from the amazing Spider-Man and his amazing friends where like every time in the intro it shows this part where he just opens I think a book or something and the, the entire room just flips into a laboratory from a living room. So yeah, that's pretty cool. There he goes, Firestar. Um, but yeah, I think this figure is really cool. I like it a lot. Uh, it definitely wants me, it, it doesn't, it definitely makes me want to watch Spider-Man and his amazing friends again. I don't really remember it. Uh, I just remember I loved that show when it was low, so I'll probably end up watching it again on Disney+. Plus. Um, but besides that, really good amount of uh, figures, um, uh, accessories, and then also good detailing, very accurate. Um, but besides that, that's all I've got. <laughs>